I didn't get my bipolar diagnosis until college, but I was living with these issues very obviously since middle school. And I experienced a lot of very difficult things. I struggled with suicidal ideation for a very long time, pretty much all of high school, a little bit longer even, and it was very damaging to me. I started to view my own life as expendable and, you know, worthless, and it was a lot. I would have these days where I was depressed and I couldn't even out of couldn't couldn't even get out of bed in the morning and I didn't want to do anything and I was locked away in my room. And then the next day I was all over the place and I think having that mania for me that would come after such long periods of depression would also lead me to invalidate my own feelings. I started thinking, well, I'm so happy today. I'm so excited. I feel like I can do anything. I feel like I, I can, you know, I can go out and run a marathon. I can stay up until six in the morning watching my favorite TV shows. This is so fun. So am I really depressed? Am I really struggling? Am I overselling my problems? Am I exaggerating? Am I lying? And it was so easy for me to get into my own head while the next day and the day before I had been on the brink of doing something very dangerous. And so just having that constant whiplash, that emotional whiplash was so challenging for me. One day, some of my mania just turned into a full-blown panic attack and I was a wreck for days. And it, it really took a lot out of me and that was the moment where I just thought, I can't do this anymore. I know something is wrong. And instead of giving up on myself the way that I had thought about for so long, I decided I should be trying to be better instead. Instead of throwing it all away, let me see what I can create out of this and try to make something beautiful. I had looked into a bunch of different, you know, mental health issues and, and, and things that I thought might be the explanation. And I bounced around between maybe being depressed or having anxiety or ADHD. And it was, it was through a lot of therapy and, you know, uh, communication with my support network and, and friends and family that I was able to really, I think, kind of hone in on the particular, the particular things that were going wrong for me. The only way that I could even afford therapy was they had free therapy programs at my college. Uh, and so if I went to a different college that was maybe not as passionate about protecting the mental health of their students, I don't know what my mental health journey would have looked like. I don't know where I would be or how I would be feeling. You know, I think there would be a, a lot of things that might have gone different and possibly worse for me. So I am very grateful that I fell into some pretty lucky circumstances. NAMI was really this, this, I don't want to say final because this is a lifelong journey, but NAMI was the next major step for me. And NAMI is a place where I'm able to connect with people in the same way that I did connect with my therapist. Finding these people who have similar experiences, who are willing to share their stories is so powerful and getting to, you know, hear what other people have gone through and see the ways that's similar to my life and see the ways that I see myself in these other people who have overcome such major odds. I think it's so beautiful and it's so powerful. Community is so important and it really, it really means a lot to me when Nami says, you are not alone because it was loneliness that was so detrimental to me for so long. You no know, mental illness made me push away so many people who were important to me and mental illness made me wallow in a lot of terrible feelings that I didn't want. And NAMI is a community where when they tell you you're not alone, they mean it. It's not empty words, it's not empty gestures. It's here to actually improve your life and hear what you have to say and see how you're feeling and connect with you and help you connect with others. And that has been so major for me in just taking the steps into adulthood and understanding that I am not a scared, lost kid anymore because I found a place where people get it and people are here to help. And getting to be a part of that, getting to contribute to other people's journeys, being able to help other people get better in the way that I have gotten better is so important to me. And NAMI is the place to do that.